So, Chris Mara, what's the weirdest thing you've ever seen at NAMM? The weirdest thing I've ever seen at NAMM was last year I was a NAMM virgin, which I was a tender person. I saw a gentleman outside with an earth harp, and he was shirtless and greased up playing this earth harp outside, and it kind of drew me in. I'm not going to lie. You know, the weirdest things at NAMM in past years is I've seen some really wild outfits. People talk about the spandex or the mullets. I mean, I got some mullet going on, but people really need to step up their game. I'm not seeing the costumes I used to see, so I want to see more like this. It's just all weird. Oh, I don't want to say that on camera. It might be just right now with this 30-something-year-old man holding a microphone in my face asking me about the weirdest thing I've ever seen. The weirdest thing I ever saw at the NAMM show was over in the guitar section, my friend <laughs> and his associate came naked, covered in a shower curtain. Well, I think it was, I think it was the guy who builds it <laughs> and he was wearing a, a paper see-through jumpsuit with nothing underneath it. And they were butt naked in a shower curtain. And he was running around. And then <laughs> later on, he got he got arrested. And then the Nam police came and dragged them out into the the back section, which is like the warehouse. And I was there to photograph it because they were about to be, uh, be arrested for indecent exposure. But I was like, geez. I mean, you could see his thing, but it, it was you know he did have paper in front of him. You know then you know how weird the guy can be. I uh, actually helped him not get arrested, and I said, no, that's He's famous. So that's, that's the weirdest thing I ever saw here. <laughs> so yeah, that's the weirdest thing I've seen at the NAMM show. So 1985, they held NAMM in New Orleans. And I'm out all night after the show, and I'm getting ready to go back to my hotel. And I go to use the ATM, and a mime walks up to me. And I prepare myself like, oh man, you know, it's midnight, it's Friday night in New Orleans and this freaking mime is gonna... <sighs> so I'm smoking a cigarette and I'm waiting. He looks at me and he pulls out a cigarette and he goes, you got a light? One of the weirdest things I've seen at NAMM was an engineer who wears leather pants at times and had a pair of leather shorts on and there was something popping out from those leather shorts. <laughs> I was like, oh no, I had to walk away. Great engineers, done some wonderful stuff. I can't say enough good things about them, except for that those damn leather shorts did not work that day. So, Alan, tell me, what is the weirdest thing you've ever seen at NAMM? Honestly, I did see that happen at NAMM, and at Summer NAMM. The guy who had his face, he's literally wearing like a, like a cloak and his face is painted. Like, you know the Star Wars character that's all red, but he's white. It's all white. And then I think he's got like the LA uh, team logo on his back, like embroidered in, but it looks like very like steampunk, like uh, Mad Max. I've just seen a lot of really weird hair. And I mean, follow the Instagram account, Nam Hair, for all the crazy things that we've seen today. I applaud those people for being themselves. I applaud the man that I saw in full goth wear with a kilt. To him, I applaud you, sir. Yeah. Identically dressed 20-year-old triplets that were also musicians of some kind, of some kind. And, and it was a flashy outfit, too, bell-bottoms sparkles, and matching highlights in their hair. That's more than a sentence, though. Way more. But you're welcome. <laughs>